I will be honest, there are there are some flaws with this build. Definitely a couple. There are, yep. Definitely a couple. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 3. Today we are jumping in and we are going to be doing another awesome build. But before we go and do that, if you missed the video where I turned this Jeep SRT into one hell of a supercar, this thing is rocking over 2,000 horsepower. It is an absolute monster. I will link to it down below. You can also see just how freaking low the thing is. Today we are going to be working on a car that has an opposite problem to the tires going into the body. Today we're going to be making a monster truck, boys. If you follow me on Twitter, you might have seen this tweet. Well, that is what I was referring to. I wanted to build a monster truck. And, well, here's the thing. It's kind of possible. It's not perfect, but it's kind of possible. Anyways, today we are going to be working on the Jeep CJ5, which is a pretty awesome little, uh, it's almost like a little Tonka truck is what I like to call it. So, I mean, the thing looks pretty normal, at least right now. I mean, like I said, we've got these massive, massive tires, but we are going to make this thing very, very crazy. So, firstly, as we are building a monster truck, the most important part of a monster truck is the mega tires. Now, We've already got some really, really big tires, but we need some off-roady tires. We need to be able to pick up all that mud and goodness, and then we need some, some thicker tires as well. And this is the tire size that actually comes stock, but we can make that a little bit bigger and go all the way up to 450 millimeters wide. That is mega. Like, just look at that. That is insane. It actually blocks off the exhaust. Don't pay attention to that. It'll, it's all it's all good. I think we've actually got some body mods for this thing that we can uh, mess around with as well. Ooh, I like the Tonka truck. Little front bit on there. That looked good. What can we do on the rear? Oh, we can take off the spare. Let's take off the spare. Ah, what, what, what? Take off the spare. It doesn't really match all the other tires on the car. Now, here's the thing with Forza Horizon 3. If we go out of the garage, we can drive this thing around just like normal, but it does have a 151 horsepower, which isn't ideal. You can see the problem with this. Um, you know how when you upscale the size of tires, your car becomes really slow? Well, turns out Forza Horizon 3 is very accurate and it does that in the game. Anyways, this thing is uh, pretty cool, but we, we need some more power and, and it's not lifted up enough, but it, it, it does look pretty cool. So before we do anything, let's swap the engine. Let's get a big 6.2 liter V8. We're going to go full on American muscle with this thing. Uh, let's get a twin turbo set up as well as that's going to be probably quite necessary, actually. I'm not actually going to upgrade the brakes because this car already has problems in the brake department. We'll get into that in a little bit. Do we want a roll cage? Yeah, we'll probably want a roll cage for this. Just saying. And then we just need a little bit more power, please. Thank you. So there we go. Upgrades are finished. We are finishing this thing off weighing 2,500 pounds, which is pretty goddamn good. 1,000 horsepower. We're actually S2 class. Yeah, we're not going to be able to compete with anything remotely close to S2 class. Oh, wow. Listen to that sound. Yeah, that's very monster truck-like. Hell yeah. Anyways, this thing is definitely more in the realm of monster trucks, but it's still far from perfect. It's it's missing some lift kits. So let's uh lift this thing up. Actually, before we do that, reduce the tire pressures all the way down just so we get more grip out of these tires. Thank you. Oh god, our gear ratios. Um, I don't know why that's happened, but let's go to there. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. Everything's already soft. And then this is the sort of party feature. Now, I went in and I modified how far the suspension can go on this. And we can go all the way up 400 inches tall. We're not going to do that because how tall is that actually? Four. Let's see. Math. 400 divided by 12. That's 33 feet. No, that's a lot. That's too much. <laughs> I found that it's good to go around the, the 50 inch range, which is more reasonable. So we'll match those up. That looks good. Everything's already pretty nice and soft and uh, we're all good. We're all wheel drive. This should be good now. When you raise up cars in Forza Horizon 3, uh, instead of the tires staying on the ground and like the suspension just getting bigger, uh, for some reason it levitates the thing. So um, pay no attention to that. But anyways, this is definitely more monster truck like now. Hell yeah. Oh. What, 
we're gonna call that our first stunt? Well, you remember when I said I was gonna put a roll cage on the thing? Well, now you see why. There is also one more modification on this thing that you guys can't actually see. Uh, obviously in monster trucks, they have really, really big tires and they're obviously really, really wide and they're actually quite far away from the body of the truck usually, just so it doesn't tip over everywhere. And I've done the same thing, but you, you can't actually see it. You can only see it when I go and do like a burnout. You can see where the, where the smoke is and you can see when I stomp on the brakes, just how wide the wheels actually are from where the, where the tire tread is on the ground. Anyways, so shall we go and do some monster trucky thing? I mean, we can just drive over people if we so choose to. I mean, you're in a little Fiat X19. It's not a good idea to drive in. Wait, this looks silly in, in white and blue. We need to go paint this. This doesn't look, I'll come back. All right, this definitely does look a hell of a lot better now that it's bright, bright green. This is definitely more monster truck. How does it look like from interior view? I mean, it actually doesn't look that insane, but you can definitely tell it's on. Yep, that's just the way of life for monster trucks. <laughs> it just really, really likes to do flips every time I get on the brakes. That's one thing I need to remember. Just when you stop, make sure you've got some room in front of you to do a little front flip. <laughs> How cool is that? Unintentionally. The coolest car in the world. So I guess let's take it over to the runway and see what we can do in terms of like just a normal top speed test. All right, we got plenty of room in front. Go for some flips, buddy. How cool. Isn't there a monster truck that actually does that? Like, look at that. There's three front flips and we landed it wheels down. Anyways, let's get this thing going. Top speed test, 1000 horsepower monster truck. It's actually quite fast. I'm never gonna be able to stop. Oh, there's someone in the way. We need to crush them. We need to crush them. That's not worked as a big plan. That's definitely not worked as a plan. Why are we messing around on tarmac when we can go off-roading in this? I love how the suspension actually eats up bounces like, okay. <laughs> it eats bounces up really well. This is the greatest vehicle ever in Forza. I'm just gonna say that. Obviously, this is like a new save in Forza Horizon. Oh yeah, this was another problem. <laughs> Sometimes, every now and again, you get stuck in the ground. And for God knows what reason, you just spin. So if I give it gas, I just spin. Really, really fast. <laughs> anyway, so as I- <laughs> I love how it just shows the tires. As this is a brand new save, we don't have the Yarra Valley Festival open, but we do have this huge area where it's supposed to be, but it's like a perfectly flat off-road area. So I kind of don't want to put the festival there because you can actually have like so much fun in this area, just like ripping it around because it's like so smooth, it's so flat. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome though. Okay, it's getting a bit wiggly again. It's getting a bit wiggly. <laughs> I don't know why it gets wiggly, but every now and again, it's, it's, it's almost like it's had enough. I'll be honest, I haven't seen it do this one yet. Shall we go do a race in our monster truck? Let's go do an off-road race. I mean, there's plenty of good ones around. I love this, how it's like Ford Raptor, Ford Raptor, Ford Raptor, levitating Jeep. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, uh, wait, what? Why am I on the ground? Oh, I'm lifted up now. Go! I'm probably not gonna win this for the simple fact that every time I try to brake, I will do a flip. We need to brake like now, do the flip, or 12, and then go around the corner. <laughs> yes! We've only moved down to last position. This is nearly undrivable. Okay, well, it is undrivable. Oh, not again. Oh, <laughs> I nearly left. Oh, hey. Okay. Wheels down. Perfect. Keep going. Look at it on the jumps, though. It, like, absorbs the jumps really well. Oh, okay. Well, you only missed the checkpoint by about 0.3 miles. Well, you do know the same. He who is last is busy doing front flips as he's trying to get around the freaking track. Okay. Nailed it. Perfect. That exactly what I wanted to do. Perfect breaking point there. Also, there is a bit of a... Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, I thought I was gonna get lapped maybe on the last lap. Maybe I would have just come last. 
I didn't expect to be on lap two and getting lapped. Look at this, I'm back in the race, boys. I am back in the race. I will be honest, there are, there are some flaws with this build. Definitely a couple. There are, yep. Definitely a couple. I love how you can see how wide the tires are when I'm driving off-road. You can see all the dirt of for where the tires are supposed to be. All right, all right. Yep, nailed it, good. What does it look like in interior? Especially when we're like, it just makes you sick if I'm honest. It is really cool to be lifted. I don't even know what just happened, but somehow I landed back on the wheels. Yeah, I didn't expect to get lapped twice in this. They've done, is that four? Have they done five laps in the time I've done three? Look at my car levitating as it drives you away. You probably wanted to try finishing last just to see what it felt like, right? Yeah. Gotcha. You can go back Definitely to winning. Kira. That's uh, exactly what I Okay, we need to test this thing in the water because I may have found the best aquatic vehicle in the world. Crush this guy. Oh, he's a miss- uh, Never mind, he's a rep. You've broken my truck! You've- You dick! I'm stuck! Today is definitely not my day. Okay. Come on, Jeep. We are making a lot of water go absolutely everywhere. But, oh, oh run over the rocks. We'll be a proper monster truck. Nailed it. <laughs> that actually looked kind of cool. Oh my god. Oh, we can actually rock climb. Oh, um. I take that back. They see me swimming. They hate it. Da -da -da. Okay. Apparently there's magnets in this rock. Did you know that? No, stay there. We're testing this ability. Yeah, mount him. Mount him. Come on, mount him. I've never said that. Someone's definitely gonna take that out of context. All right, come on. Get it up. Oh, someone's gonna take that out of context as well. Oh, today is really not my day, boys. Come on. Can we please? We need a bit of a run up. Crush the mini. Yeah. Oh. We may have driven through him slightly. Imagine just la di da di da di da di da di da la di da. I'm just looking for my shops and things and oh my god, it's a monster truck that's flying. We'll ignore the fact that it is basically completely undrivable for the simple fact that it. Why are you mounting a tree now? Monster truck versus bus. Ah. I used flip front flip. The move was ineffective. Yeah, monster truck. Hell yeah. Anyways, this was Forza Horizon 3. Okay. This was Forza Horizon 3's first ever monster truck. This thing is so, so cool to drive around in. It is just, it's just different. That's the thing I like about it. Actually, let's end this video with a front flip or a couple. Let's go all the way down the runway, maximum speed. When we get to the speed trap, Stomp on the brakes, see how many flips we do. And if we land on our wheels, then who knows? Then you buy a sticker pack. All right, Jeep, in, wait, we have to crush the Hennessy. There we go, Hennessy has been crushed. That actually worked very well. In three, two, one, go! Note to self, don't launch the Jeep. It needs a bit of warming up. All right, slow and steady. Wins the race. Please don't do another wheelie. There we go. Full power in the Jeep. Look at this. All right. Once we get to the lights, we stomp on the brakes and we see how many flips we do. If I don't land on my wheels, I'll give a lucky commenter some stickers. Go. All right. Come on. That's what. It's gone very messy. Very, very messy. Well, I, I guess that's the thing. That's, that's that. Anyways, guys, that was Forza Horizon 3's first ever monster truck. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there are some updates, because every single day we're learning more about the, the dev version and what we can really do. So if I can make this thing even better, I will make sure to make an update video to this one. So make sure you're subscribed for that. And I will see you guys next week with another crazy Forza Horizon 3 mod video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you then. Bye.